Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Also, we're going to talk about Crisis, so this is a big question that we're going to be talking about because it's to do with the 100th episode and how it will affect Crisis, or vice versa, how Crisis will affect the 100th episode of Supergirl. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so Crisis on Infinite Earths, we know it's going to be in two parts. There's going to be three episodes before the mid-season, that's been confirmed, and there's going to be two episodes after the mid-season break, so it's going to be split up. It's going to be five episodes, the longest crossover we've ever had, but it's split up into two quarters, as they said. Basically, that means the two different seasons, although after, you know, the first break, we'll still be in winter, but, you know, it's sort of nearing the end of winter in February-ish. Right now, we are presuming that you know, we're going to follow the order of the episodes, so maybe Batwoman, Supergirl, and The Flash will be the first three episodes, and then maybe in the back half of the crossover, it will be Arrow and Legends, but definitely Legends in the back half, because Legends doesn't come back until the mid-season, so it makes sense that it would obviously be after that, and I'm just sort of going by the release dates, because Batwoman and Supergirl on Sunday, and then we have The Flash on Tuesday, which is before Arrow, and then we don't know where Legends is going to be placed, so that's what I'm presuming right now. So maybe that sort of prolongs Arrow's length this season. And so we know that Supergirl is having its 100th episode this season. That's a massive deal, as it has been in the past with The Flash and Arrow. The Flash did it last season. We had this amazing episode where we saw all these returning characters. And same thing with Arrow. We had all the villains returning. It was actually part of the crossover. But last year... The 100th episode was the mid-season finale for The Flash, and it was really, really great, and I loved it. So, normally the 100th episodes, you know, for both these other shows, have been at the mid-season, but for Supergirl, it's going to be different. So, Supergirl's 100th episode will be Season 5, Episode 13, as Supergirl in Season 1 had 20 episodes, Season 2 had 22, Season 3 had 23, Season 4 had 22, which adds up to a grand total of 87 episodes overall that we've had so far. So therefore, there will be 13 episodes before we get to the 100th episode in Season 5. So it's Season 5, Episode 13, that's when it's all happening. So get ready for that, that is the official episode that is going to be happening in. And until today, I actually didn't realise that, and I know loads of people have been asking me this, that is the reason why I'm sort of talking about it in this video, because everyone's like is it going to be at the mid-season how is it going to affect crisis we'll talk about that in a sec but until today when i looked back and added up the episodes i was like i'm pretty sure it's going to be around crisis but no it's not it's going to be episode 13 and as all of you guys know episode 13 is after the mid-season break so let's talk about this so big things will happen in both crisis and the hunter of episode that is without a doubt because crisis is this massive crossover in the comics, it's the biggest comic book event that has ever happened in DC. So therefore, on the TV show, it's going to be massive. And the 100th episode is always massive. It sort of calls back to the show and what it's done over these 100th episodes. And, you know, it brings back many characters. But because Crisis is on Supergirl's part, will probably be either episode 8, 9, or 10. Normally, episode 9 or 8 is the mid-season, I'm guessing. One of those two will be the mid-season, so it's going to be either that for Crisis, and if it is supposedly after the mid-season break, maybe it's in the second part of the Crisis crossover after the break, it would be episode 10, it wouldn't be like episode 11 or anything. So it is confirmed that the 100th episode will have no effect on the crossover and will not be the mid-season finale like the Flash and Arrow did in the past. So I was asked this question... And this is how it goes, Supergirl's 100th episode, and will it affect Crisis on Infinite Earths in any way? So the answer to that is no, because the 100th episode will definitely be after the crossover. That has been confirmed if you, you know, do the maths and add it up and look back at the episode counts and, you know, we find out that it's going to be episode 13 this season. So maybe Crisis has effect on the 100th episode. I think that is a really good idea. And that may be a good reason to bring back some past characters like Wynn and mon -El, as we've all been speculating as they will return, most likely if everything goes according to how we're sort of theorising. So the next question actually asks, going on from how will Supergirl's 100th episode affect Crisis, 
can they use that to bring back Monel and win for Crisis? So talking about the 100th episode, so the answer is this would be a seismic event that would change all, and I'm talking about Crisis here. So therefore, this would be something that would be of great interest to the Legion, and it would affect them in the future because you know the timeline changes and everything like that would affect them. So you would guess they would come back, so it would call on them to return, which can lead to them actually returning those two specific characters to stick around till the 100th episode, as that will obviously be past Crisis, and, you know, they can stay for a few episodes until we get to episode 13, where we have the 100th episodes, and most of the main characters should return in some capacity, even if it's just, you know, a hologram, they shoot it from LA and they just stick it in in post-production, like they did with Arrow back in their 100th episode. So I think this would be a great way, and I think it would really make sense that mon and Wim would come back, and maybe Crisis is the way to do it. It's a very good excuse to bring them back, and you know, it's a literal call for them to come back, because if the Legion actually found out in the past, this crisis event, obviously they know about 2024, but because it's now 2019 with these changes, it would affect them in some way or another. And so with the crisis actually happening before the 100th episode, it would be a great excuse to bring them back, help them, and maybe bring a couple of Legion members, because in the comics, Legion members actually do help in crisis, and it would be a great way to bring them back and a great excuse to actually have them integrate with all our characters again, and then for them to stick around for a few more episodes. They could stay on past the 100th episode, but more likely than not, they probably won't because, you know, both actors, Chris and Jeremy, are very busy and they have other commitments right now, so there's potential for them to stay on if this actually happens. Obviously, this is all theorizing right now, but I think it's a great way that they could potentially come back. So. Make sure to share this theory online, obviously share the video, link all the people in charge of Supergirl, the showrunners, the actors and everything, be like, this would be a great way to bring them back and, you know, they could be around for a few episodes, till the 100th episode, then we get, you know, the return of all these different characters, you know, maybe Cat Grant, maybe you have Maggie back, maybe you have all these different people who return in some sort of capacity and, you know, win and mon because of they are in the Legion, you know, they will be a big help if they return to the past for Crisis, so that would be a great way. Okay, so the last question is, could Lena help in Crisis, and will Lena be in the crossover now that she's in on the secret? So, my answer is no. I highly doubt she'll be in Crisis unless she has a big role to play, which right now, I'm not so sure about. Like, it does make obvious sense that maybe she may be in a future crossover because she's in on the secret, but with how the season ended, obviously she's going down a dark path, so it wouldn't really make much sense if she, say, is that dark by the time we get to Crisis. Or if she's better, obviously there is an excuse for that, but I don't know, the story is more about superheroes rather than, you know, supporting characters that are going to help so i can see obviously alex being heavily involved because she's a fighter it's just the thing is lena she's not a fighter and obviously she can fight but she doesn't have superpowers basically what i'm trying to get at and she's not as highly trained as alex so unless she is doing some of the scheming behind the scenes say if win returns maybe they work together there is the possibility in that i think it's not very likely and i know a lot of you lena fans i like lena a lot but I know a lot of you Lena diehard fans would really like that. I just don't think it's that probable. But I guess there could be a way, you know, if they integrate Win and maybe Brainiac 5 in order to stop the incoming threat of the Anti-Monitor and obviously the Reverse Flash in the TV version. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. So just the last announcement, I'm going to be closing my GoFundMe page in the next few days. I want to say a massive thank you to all of you who have contributed and to all of you who have contributed via Patreon, which is really appreciated. And in the super chats that we do on the live streams every now and again, make sure if you ever see the live streams to join in because we have some great talks over there. So I'll be at Comic Con this year. That is what the GoFundMe was for. So I want to say a massive thank you. And in the 
giveaway that I've promised. It's going to be San Diego Comic Con exclusive Funko Pop figures, and they've just announced some new DC ones. They've announced a Cisco Ramon one from The Flash. That is definitely going to be one of the prizes, and maybe the Batman one they recently announced. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Sharp free.